Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going thrifting and I am so excited to take you with me. As the weather has gotten warmer down here in South Florida, we've moved into spring. Summer is going to be here before I know it. I'm finding that I have some small gaps in my minimal wardrobe. And so the best way that I like to shop is secondhand. And so I have a list prepared of exactly what I'm looking for. I've gone through my wardrobe, found the holes. Also, I have undergarments on that are flattering. They're neutral toned. I think that's really important. Also, I have a favorite pair of jeans on, a favorite top, and some comfortable shoes so that if I'm trying tops on, I already have a bottom on that I know I really like. And same thing if I'm trying bottoms on, I already have a top on that I really like and it fits my personal style. I really just want to give myself every opportunity to really see exactly what it is that I'm trying on and see if it fits my style. If it's the proper color, I'm always going to be looking only in my color palette, which is going to be black, white, coral, generally light denim, and uh, sometimes a little bit of gray. So if it's outside of that, sometimes I will go to like a mustard color, but that's it. I don't go anywhere outside of that, and that has always been tried and true to me. This is not limiting. It actually allows me so much freedom because I have tried so many different colors, and even though I can make different colors work, they just don't feel like me. They don't make me feel awesome on the inside, and that's what I really want my clothes to do for me. So I stick inside of that color palette and it always works out for me. Then I'm also only looking at certain fibers. I'm looking for natural fibers, fibers that breathe, and then also certain cuts and styles, which I will show you if we find some things inside. So I can't wait to get in there. Let's see what we find. my favorite Tevas, my favorite jeans, and this little sleeveless shirt. Let's see what we find. Wouldn't you know, the very first item I try on, I absolutely love. This is a Tommy Bahama brand new quality silk, 100% silk button down shirt. This is exactly kind of the shirt that I've been looking for and I love silk but i'm really questioning if this is going to be a good fit considering that gabriel um loves to kiss on my shoulders and i just don't know that it's gonna hold up well it's also um a little bit pricier than the usual thrifting item it's 20 dollars, and i mean it's absolutely worth it i just don't know if this is gonna be the right fit for my lifestyle <laughs> This is a very interesting, strange shirt. It's like a tunic style with the slit of the side. And it does check the boxes of color, style, kind of the boho, edgy. And then it's made out of 100% cotton. I can also breastfeed from the top, which is really important. I just get tired of having to pull my entire shirt up. Uh, but I don't know. It's, I'm not super excited about it. I'm a little bit unsure about how exactly to style it other than this one way. I can definitely wear it to the beach, which is great, but I can also wear other items that I have. So I don't know if this is going to be the right fit or not. We shall see. This sweater proves my point perfectly that if it is not an absolute yes, it's a no. Everything about what I am purchasing has to be something that I love. If there's anything that I would change about it, then I need to not get it. So this fit really strange. The sleeves were a very odd length. Also, this is made up of three different types of fibers, and I don't know about you, but pilling absolutely drives me bonkers. 
And so you can see this is already peeling even though it's barely been worn. So if you look at a piece of clothing and you see that it's made of three different types of fibers, there's a very, very likely chance that it's going to peel. It's a no. We are back in the car. And we ended up batting zero at that thrift store, but it is absolutely okay. I don't know if you've ever felt like you've invested time looking for a piece of clothing. Maybe you have a dress that you need to get for an occasion and you just can't find exactly what you're looking for. That time is absolutely not wasted. Please always hear me. That time is never wasted because you've just solidified exactly what you like, what you don't like, and you're going to be able to see exactly what it is when that thing comes along that was meant for you. And so take that beautiful beautiful coral button-up shirt it was absolutely perfect except it wasn't perfect for me i decided after i really weighed out the pros and cons that silk is just simply not an option for me right now i do have one silk blouse that i absolutely love and it happens to be black so that is so much more forgiving this coral <laughs> blouse when it gets wet actually turns bright bright orange and so i get sweaty i live in florida i'm actually sweating right now because i don't have the car on and I really don't want to have bright orange armpits or if I drop a, a little bit of water from eating a meal out, I don't want to have bright orange all over me. So these are things that are really important to think about. And in the moment when it's impulsive and it seems exciting to buy this piece, later on it actually feels really crappy to have to declutter it and so i'm taking more time on the front end really weighing out whether i want to bring a piece of clothing into my wardrobe because i'm responsible then for taking care of it and then i'm also responsible for passing it on to the next person and i just am done buying things to buy them and I think that they might work. If they're not exactly what I'm looking for, then I'm just not gonna buy them. And they actually had these little bumps on the collars. I'm not sure if that's from them washing it or if it just kind of formed that over time. It was a beautiful shirt I saw on Tommy Bahama. It was originally $100 and they were selling it for 20. But the bottom line is no deal is a good deal if I don't need it. And so I'm going to continue on. I found another thrift store just around the corner. So I'm going to pop in briefly there and see what we find. <laughs> Okay, I am so tripped out right now. I just have to sit here for a moment because this is crazy. Okay, so I went into that consignment store. It was a really cute thrift store around the corner from where I was, and I didn't find anything. And so I decided to look, and I saw there was a Play-Doh's closet right around the corner from that. And so I ran in. I found this linen cotton skirt that I had looked at a million and a half times on ThreadUp, the online consignment store. They had had one. I was going to get it. It was in my size and then they ended up selling it and there were multiple times that it kind of came across my radar but I never ended up getting it because buying stuff online I just never know if it's going to fit properly and if I'm going to like it and then I'm kind of stuck with it. So I found the exact skirt that I have looked for exactly like I love everything about it super comfortable linen cotton and it was eight dollars and I was just totally gonna get it so I went out to the register and she told me the uh, total it was 107 and I said a dollar seven and she said yes so <laughs> this is just an amazing skirt. I'm so excited. It has pockets. It has an elastic waist. I can dress it up, dress it down. And I'm just giddy. Like, that's just the sweetest thing ever. And I got it for a dollar. <gasps> I 
I'm so excited. Super successful trip today. This was the exact skirt that I was looking for and I was hoping someday to find it and I seriously can't believe that I did. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun with you. Just looking around one person's trash is another's treasure and you know the most sustainable thing that you could ever do is shop your own closet but if you find that you have missing pieces in your wardrobe then maybe try thrifting. Maybe try Plato's Closet or Goodwill or a local thrift store and just have fun with it. It's a low cost way to experiment and try new styles but I highly recommend that you actually have in mind exactly what you're looking for otherwise if you don't stand for something you'll fall for anything. If you like this video please give it a huge thumbs up. Also please subscribe if you have not yet and make sure you click that little notification bell so that you get notified because I upload a new video every single Wednesday. I'll see you in the next one.